Hello everybody, my camera is working tonight. Yay! Uh, welcome to tonight's Ralph and TV stream. Uh, this is one of our regular monthly opportunities to showcase one of our favorite creators. Uh, we call it our Creator Spotlight. And uh, we've had a couple of these in the past. Uh, we have had uh, Train Simulator Driver and we had Top Funny Moments last time around, our first ever Spanish stream. Tonight we're going to be showcasing Blue Games. Now, Blue is hopefully well known to a lot of you. He uh, creates an awful lot of amazing uh, simulator content. He obviously covers Trains in World 2 as well, uh, covers a lot of the, the releases that we put out. And we set him a challenge. Uh, so as some of you hopefully are aware, uh, we have recently released the Spirit of Steam uh, add-on, uh, Liverpool Lime Street to Crew, and we asked all of our uh, creators to do uh, what we call a hudless challenge. So we asked them to take part in uh, Spirit of Steam, but go completely hudless for the entire run. So we had lots of responses to this, uh, and you might see some actually on some of our other creators' channels, but we wanted to showcase Blues for you tonight. Uh, so he will be uh, taking on Spirit of Steam hudless. Go and check out his channel. It is in the, uh, the stream description. Uh, and... Uh, well, rather than that, I will I will let him take it away. You've got about 45 minutes of this, uh, and then uh, and then we'll finish the stream for tonight. Uh, tomorrow, you can see Cat doing taking on uh, a new livery for Spirit of Steam, um, and we've got plenty of other stuff coming up on Ralph Fan TV this week as well. Just check out the forum thread for details. All right. Well, without further ado, I'll let Blue take it away. Have a good evening, folks. Okay, what is going on, beautiful people? Welcome, welcome, welcome back. It's your boy, Blue, and we are here on Train Sim World 2 again. Big shout out to Dovetail Games for hosting us today. I am just honored to be here and be hanging out with you guys today. So looking forward to today's route back in the beautiful Jubilee. We're driving some more steam engines. I cannot get enough of this DLC. But today I'm trying out something a little bit different. Uh, I, I found a really, really cool honestly probably one of my favorites so far uh, custom creator scenario or custom created scenario it's called TF steaming to lead so take a look real quick in case you want to give it a try yourself it's been made by Tom Fresco and you can see here in the description in this scenario you'll be taking a semi-fast express service from Manchester to Leeds calling at Stolly Bridge Huddersfield Dewsburg Leeds City Station your train is ready to depart just let the passengers board and off you go watch out for steep gradients especially out of Manchester Victoria lion's feet will be unreachable for you during the climb from Manchester to Marston so we got to keep all that in mind and you can see here it's using the northern trans Pennine route it's an oldie but a goodie and I think that the the spirit of steam trains just fit perfectly on this route and I've been really liking the way it looks so let's jump right into it and also, if you're ever wondering, how do I get to my subscribed scenarios? Well, easy enough. You go to the DLC that it's under, or the route that it's under. So this one's under Northern Transpennine. I'm going to click on that and then go into Tools and then Scenario Planner. And then here you'll see all of the subscribed scenarios that you have for this DLC. So I have a heavy freight one as well, made by the same person. And we're going to be using the Steaming to Leeds one today. Okay, beautiful. It is 6.15 in the AM. I'm in the LMS Jubilee, 358.4 tons, and we have nine uh, passenger coaches behind us. We're 174 yards long. Let's begin. All right, I'm going to open the doors on the left side, and let's take a look outside real quick. Look at that. You see the 8F right next to us, steaming ahead. And wow, look how busy it is out here already. Gorgeous. All right, let's hop back into our train and we'll get the doors shut. It's not actually necessary to even open the doors, but uh, I just like to, to do that. So I want to go get the train set up and we'll get rolling out of here. So small ejector to closed. Uh, we'll put our reverser to forward and we'll release the brakes. I found the brake. There's a brake. And then we'll open up the large injector to get the LMS. Get everything going there. Get everything open, brakes released. Got a train already getting ahead of us, so hopefully we don't catch any red signals because of that. Next stop is 7.4 miles away. All right, we're already rolling downhill, just like that of a downhill gradient, 0.66%.
I wonder if the lamps are set up in the front. Let me check. Oh, they're not. I said a lamp's up. Or an express service. Semi-express. So we'll do it like that. Cool. All right. I can already tell this is going to be a major rail fanning scenario. So you're going to see me doing a lot, a lot of drive-bys. So if you're... Love if you love train spotting or rail fanning, then uh, definitely stay tuned because I got some beautiful drive by shots coming up. Here we go. Alright, we're back in our own train now. Let's go ahead and get things set up. I couldn't help myself. I really couldn't. There was just so many great views coming out of Manchester there. It's going to get that large ejector closed. Forgot about that. Forgot about my own train. Like, this is so much to see, so much to look at at the beginning of this scenario. Like, I would love to be ha able to have the option uh, to load into this scenario on foot and just literally just watch uh, everything going on around Manchester. Look at that, 2.1% gradient, and I don't even know if we're gonna make it. Like, it is struggling. You can hear the chug slowing down. Listen to that thing, ay ay ay. They they did warn us. Oh my god, are we gonna make it? Are we gonna make it? Oh my god. I don't know, guys. I don't know. Seven miles per hour. Not looking good for our heroes. <laughs> I got it. I got the reverse all the way open. Why the heck open? I might pop open the cylinder cocks for a second. See if that's gonna help. Maybe not. I'm not sure if it's gonna work. Nope. Wow. What are we looking at? Let's turn down our uh, our reverser. Maybe that'll give us some speed. There we go. Yeah, that's that's working. Yeah, turn the reverser down from 25 to 49 percent, and that's kind of stabilizing us right there. Um, I should go ahead and mention that I am using the rail driver uh, for my controls for the train. So you may not see me reach over and click everything. It's much easier to me uh, to be able to have uh, an actual control desk, right? So with axes and stuff like that to have greater, finer control over the train. And that's the same for any train. Man, we are creeping out of here, man. Sheesh. I mean, as long as we're moving forward, it's okay. I don't want to start... Sp oh, there's, there it is. We just spun the wheels, and we're spinning them. Oh, great. That's not a good sign. Not good. All right. Brakes, brakes, brakes. Okay. Okay. I get the point. I get, I get the point. All right. Well, this is where it's going to come down to using some experience apparently uh, which I don't have much of <laughs> let's see if I can get this thing off the hill 2.1% gradient we got I think it was a seven passenger coaches back there and I'm just gonna try a few things so reverse was back full forward 
I have uh, the brakes right now, which are holding us from rolling backwards. The reason why I turned that on. Uh, we can pop on the sand. I think I popped on the cylinder cocks already. Hello, I could use some help here. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't care. All right, let's see if we can get this thing off the hill. Uh, all right, so reverse is forward. I uh, have my brakes holding us in place. And the fireman's doing fireman, the invisible fireman is doing fireman stuff. Yeah, so I am going to use some of my American freight. Uh, it's probably not going to work, but I'm going to actually apply a little bit of regulator. And then I'm going to release the brakes. I believe the silicocks are on. Yeah, they are. I can see the smoke coming out the front. All right, brakes are releasing slowly. Which is fine with me. They should be. Yeah, they're releasing. Or are they? Uh, they don't seem to be releasing. There we go. Now they're releasing. Got a little bit of regulator. About 33% might be too much, but I'm going to try it. And we'll see what happens. Alright, are we going forward or back? That's the question. Uh, it's trying, it's trying. I right, sand. Come on, we can do this. A little bit more regulator, just a tiny bit. All right, we're getting some movement. I have movement. I have chugs. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we are moving. I'm honestly afraid to turn off the cylinder car, so I'm going to try. And they are off. Let's see if we can continue going forward. 2.2. This, this gradient isn't getting any easier. It's actually getting worse. And start bringing back the reverser. Alright, we're still getting forward momentum. That's good. Steam pressure looks good. Steam gauges look good. I'm not gonna lie, I didn't. I was not expecting this to be this challenging, but I like it. I like the challenge. All right, seven point seven. I think we can get a little bit. Let's see how much we can get away with here with the reverser. And I'm gonna add some more regulator. I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna wide open. Let's go wide open on it. Let's go see what happens. We're not spinning, which is good. I don't think we need sand anymore. Sand is going away. All right, sand is off. Some of the cocks are off. We're at nine miles an hour. Oh yeah, baby. So far, so good. All right, looking at ten. Uh, let's bring the reverser back some more. Let's see if we go all the way to 25. And we're slowing down. I think. I'm like really watching it. Alright, we're not. So, yeah, the gradient's now going down. That's good, that's good, that's good. And so we have some station up ahead. Uh, but we are not stopping there. Oh baby, I think we made it. 0.8%. Alright, we're looking good. Passing by this station. Uh, we've made it up to 20 miles per hour. We've made it actually all the way up to track speed. And I'm actually not going to slow down. I'm going to leave the regulator in and continue to gain speed. We are still climbing up a uh, uphill gradient. And speed limit is going to be changing to 50 miles per hour here very soon anyway, so no reason to slow down. And we have all green signals up ahead. Oh yeah, this is very satisfying. Alright, reverser is set, regulator is set, steam chest looks good. We're on our way guys. We are on our way. Waiting for that 50 mile per hour. There it is, there's 50 miles per hour. I don't know if there's a sign that like says it on his, on his map. I don't see anything. 
over the river. Let me know in the chat what river that is, if you know. But I don't. I have no clue. So interesting, like, I didn't realize that the Northern Transpennine route had the, those old school signals on it. I've had this route for a long time, and I really haven't played it as much as I should have. Uh, I've always really enjoyed and appreciated the trains and the route itself. And the one thing I was always kind of looking forward to was running steam on it. So another route that I really want to run steam on is West Somerset. And uh, there's already a few what seems to be really good scenarios for West Somerset. The only issue is that all those scenarios have like a couple, uh, I think, loco DLCs that I don't own, and so I can't, I can't run the scenario sadly. Oh yeah, we moving now, baby. 43 miles per hour. So what I might have to do is um, create my own West Somerset scenario with my own, uh, with my own uh, whatever I own DLC. Uh, the only thing is, I just don't have the patience. <laughs> I really don't have the patience to uh, to make my own. Like this, this scenario so far. I mean, we're just getting started. But this scenario so far has been very well authored, I should say. I mean, look how much traffic we've been getting. It doesn't feel dead. It feels alive. Uh, coming out of Manchester, it was like so much traffic, freight and passenger. And then even all along the line so far, we've seen at least three, or four trains. And that's what I love. That's the kind of routes that I enjoy seeing a busy, busy, busy uh, route. There's another uh, overpass there. Green light ahead. We are stopping in 4.5 miles. I think this is a good time for another rail fanning moment. We are getting close to our first stop in Staley Bridge, coming through a tunnel. Ooh, tunnels. That's dope. Alright, so I, uh, we are going uphill, 0.2%. Doing about 52 miles per hour, a little bit over the speed limit. And I'm sorry, go ahead and put in brakes in, because I don't really know what it's going to take us to stop. I've never run a steam train on this route, so I don't really know what to expect. Uh, so I'm going to kind of be a bit careful here. Get started braking early. I don't want to overshoot. Like, I'm actually legit having so much fun on this route so far, and it, I would just hate for it to end early um, by missing a station and blowing a red light. So, we'll be pretty careful taking the scenic route today, taking our time, enjoying the route for what it is, and yeah, just really appreciate this. Again, big shout out to the scenario creator, did a great job on this one for sure. I've actually tried make my own scenarios before, and yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm looking forward to Scenario Editor, whatever, 2.0. Um, so I'm hoping it can add some more, you know, abilities to it. Um, the people who've already been making scenarios have done a great job making scenarios. Um, but I don't know, I, I feel like it needs to be changed a bit for me uh, to make my own. Because I can easily make a scenario where it's just me going from one end of the track to the other. That's easy. The hard part for me is the timing of getting all the other trains uh, through the route, like this one where I get to have such a busy route. Um, yeah, it's it's a lot. <laughs> but yeah, so big hats off for all, everybody who is doing it and making great scenarios. Thank you. Thank you for you people, because uh, you make the sim even more fun and enjoyable. All right, here we come for our first stop. Hanging our head out the window. I would love. I think it'd be a lot of fun to do like a, a no HUD 
drive of this route with the steam train. I probably could have at least turned off the uh, stop marker things. I right, probably might roll through it. We'll see. The good news is that signal is green. <laughs> so there we are, guys. Welcome to Starry Bridge. And I, I guess I'm not sure why, but uh, it doesn't necessarily tell you that you have to open the doors. It just basically instantly gives you the the you know the green light to go to the next stop. So since uh, it's doing that. I'm actually gonna get out. Again, I haven't run this route for a while, and I know there's some collectibles I can grab. There's a route map right there for the British Rail, Northern Trans Pennine. We are, where are we? Stall something. Where is it at? Stally Bridge. Yes, yeah, so we're here. Mosley, Greenfield, Marsden, how to sweet. Anything else we can collect around here? It's kind of a ghost town. Just one guy. Jesse, you wanna hop on, bro? Bro, the mustache game, strong. Thank you. I like the Charmander mustache you got going on. That's pretty dope. I guess he's waiting for some other train somewhere. It's a nice station, though. It's, it's funny. Like, whenever you go revisit routes that you haven't uh, dri driven in a long time, it, it kind of feels like you're going for the first time again, you know? <laughs> like, I have the very similar um, experience right now. Oh, I can go back here, too? Nope, blocked. I guess that goes underneath. I'm being a little bit of an explorer now. Alright, let's not get too... We got places to be. This is not a short route. Like This is the entire length. I think it's like 30 miles or something like that. So, back into our loco. Into the steam engine. Back to the driver's seat. And... Go ahead and release the brakes. Put a reverser back in full fort. We're going to need help probably releasing the brakes. So, we'll... Oh, large eject is already on. So, I'm going to kind of cycle through that. Get our cylinder cocks on. Only 0.1% gradient, so we should be okay. Shouldn't be too difficult. So looking for our vacuum brake pressure. Gets around 21. Look at that sun shining through. That's pretty cool. Alright, I'm sorry giving it power early. We're gonna start rolling backwards. And there we go. Oh, I didn't close the door. <laughs> Whoops. Are they gonna close? I gotta stop. I guess I gotta stop. Yeah, I gotta stop to do it. My bad. My bad. Bad. Oh, there it is. Now they're shutting. Alright, cool. Brakes release. Let's go. Let's cycle the ejector again because we did put brakes on. Uh, regular is open 20%. I gotta wait for the brakes to release again. 16 miles into Huddersfield. And we'll take a look how many more stops we have. Alright, we're moving. Beautiful. Alright, close it up. And close that up. And power, power, power. Oh, spin it up. Sometimes I get too impatient and I just like throw the regulator away too much. Alright, we do have a climb. I don't know what the climb is. So let's just get as much momentum and steam generation going forward here because we don't know if it's going to be another 2.4% gradient coming out of this station. Looking good though, we can bring reverse back already. No sand needed. I can see this being really difficult in, uh, in the snow or in the rain. I don't know if on off the rails mode, if like all the physics still apply. I don't really know. All right, coming through a tunnel. You know how much I love tunnels. You don't get a lot of tunnels on the. Uh... Wow, it's dark in here. Oh my crap! Uh, where's the light? I oh, should. There it is. There we go. Uh, you don't realize, they don't have as many tunnels on the uh, the original Spirit of Steam route. I think there's like just one, which I think is just really just an underpass or something like that. But you don't get too many of them. And I think this is the case where you open up this door. The roof vent. I could be wrong.
so my only memories of the Northern Transpennine as far as running the original route with the original trains was constantly failing <laughs> because it's so like there's so many gradients and I would run either the freight train or the passenger train. It didn't really matter which one I was running. I don't remember the numbers. It's just BR or something. You know, I'm, I'm American, I right? So you guys have all these BR numbers. I can't keep up. I'm just going to be honest with you. I, I can't. In the same way that some of you probably can't keep up with the American freight trains. You probably don't know the difference between BNSF and Union Pacific. I'm just, I'm just saying. Hey, we all love trains and that's what matters. Um, but my memories of running this route on Northern Trans Pennine uh, tend to be me running through red signals and uh, I, unable to stop because the route speed actually gets pretty high. It's up to 60 miles per hour right now. Um, I don't know that we're going to be able to make that, sadly. But uh, maybe sometime we will. Maybe. We'll see. Change my camera view. This is my ca favorite camera view right here. I wish it was like a, a pre-made one. I don't mind uh, the top, the hood one, but... I like this camera view right here. Very good angle of the track. You get a good angle of the actual uh, conductor. Everything looks good from here. But yeah, I don't know why. Something about... I'm not sure if anybody else has had the same thing as me, but maybe I'm just a little too heavy on the throttle. Who knows? But I always ended up just losing it through here. And speaking of losing it, we're coming through another tunnel. I love this section of track, man. The short tunnel, too. And it's like we are actually losing speed again. Are my brakes? Are my brakes reactivate? Are they back on? Bro, it gets so dark. <laughs> yeah, you know what? My brakes have reapplied, and I'm trying to find out why. I wonder what's causing that. Yeah, now we're gaining speed again. What does that mean? White with a... I've never seen that sign before. Yeah, I don't know what's causing it. I'm not touching anything. Um, my brakes keep applying to about 15 vacuum pressure. So, I'll close the large ejector now. And as I close it... I'm gonna keep a closer eye. Like, yeah, actually, look at my vacuum pressure right now. It's actually now slowly going down, which means it's actually slowly applying. And I don't have any other brakes on. I have my brakes are fully released here, unless I have a steam brake on or something I don't know about. So it looks like what I'm gonna have to do is run with the ejector open to keep the brakes off. Alright, we're back up front. I've uh, been doing a bit of rail fanning the past few minutes and uh, didn't realize that our speed was a bit out of hand. So it might be smart for me to just put a little break in and also I can turn the light off now that we are clear of all the tunnel. We actually drove through a tunnel back there. 
I'm not sure if I caught the clip, uh, but it was it was probably like like a two mile long tunnel. It was crazy. It was very long. Matter of fact, I think all we need to do is close the large ejector, and we should start braking on our own because of that. Uh, see that we have some kind of vacuum brake leak or something. I don't know. But yeah, there it is. We're back under control, looking good. Six miles out still from our next stop. Uh, we have, let's see, two, one, two, we have three more stops to go. And let's take a look at our map here, and we are <laughs> just about halfway. This is a pretty long route. Or at least it feels long. We're just about halfway. Well, I really thought we were like maybe a third, or like three, three-fourths of the way, but we're got a long way to go. But I ain't gonna lie, man, I've really been enjoying the view. Um, I don't feel like it's one of those routes that just kind of drag on. There's been so much to look at, so much to see. And uh, so many great, just real fanning spots to take a look at, so. So I found this really cool rail fanning spot here on the bridge. I have no idea where we are, but this is a beautiful shot. Check out the Jubilee driving by. See, that's the kind of shots that you live for when it comes to train spotting. We're back up front, coming up on our next stop. And oh wow, look at this area! All right, I'm gonna start putting brakes in. We're doing just under 70 miles per hour, and uh, I don't want to miss our stop. We're also going downhill. This is interesting. Uh, interesting that rock right there. This is really like, again, like I'm revisiting this route for the first time, and I mean probably a, a, at least a year. And it legit feels like, especially in this train, it feels like a whole new route has been released. Even though it hasn't. This is an old route, the Northern Transpennine. Uh, I'm sure the uh, preservation crew have had their hand on it since then. Not sure what they did. Um, but, yeah, it feels like a whole new route right now. Uh, so we are approaching the station, Huddersfield Platform 8. Through a couple more tunnels. I've really been really, really loving the tunnels on this route. And it looks like we're probably gonna pop out the tunnel and right onto the platform when we get there. I probably should have turned the light on before we came in here. That's okay. I don't need the light. We'll let it coast in and hope that we get it stopped in time. We're still going downhill 1.0%. We do have a 15 mile per hour uh, speed zone up ahead, so we'll slow down for that. To adding in a little bit of brakes. Here we come out the tunnel. I see the light at the end of the tunnel. There's a 15 miles per hour marker. Oh, this is a nice station. Very nice. Yeah, I legit remember nothing. I don't remember anything from last time I was here. Reverse is going all the way full force, 75%. Brakes are actually released, or supposed to be released. I'm gonna give it some more power to get to the end of the platform. We're gonna stop a little too early. 
Look at this though, I mean again, this is a custom scenario and it legit, it kind of feels even more populated than the scenarios made by Dovetail. And here come the brakes. Alright, that red signal is not for us. And there we are, welcome to Huddersfield. Doors open. But yeah, I like, I'm not sure this is just a part of like the scenery, but um, it's pretty cool that there's this static um, passenger coaches here and a couple of trains here too put together. So again, you can tell the person who made the scenario really put a lot of time into just all, like really making it good. So thank you for your hard work and dedication. You have more patience than most of us, that's for sure. All right, let's go ahead and close the doors. We're not giving people a long time to go. We got our ways to go. Next stop is Dewsbury platform and 6.9. Let's roll out. Alright, beautiful. We are rolling out. So Dewsbury. Pull that power back. We got 20 mile per hour still in this area. And there just went up. We are going downhill, but not too much. Throwing the power back in, bring the reverser back. There we go, it looks good. A wide open. And the good thing is we've gotten green signals all the way so far. But you never know, this designer might throw a curveball at us and we end up getting a, a yellow or a red in some random spot. You never know. You never know. So we might be speeding. <laughs> uh, I would bring the regulator back. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, close the large ejector. That's gonna automatically throw some brakes in for us. Speed limit is 50. We're doing 84. I think this is definitely the fastest I've ever gone in this train. <laughs> we were going downhill for a while. Uh, now we're going uphill. So I'm just gonna, uh, I'm, I'm just gonna do nothing about it. Yeah, I'm just not gonna do anything about it. I'm gonna release the regulator. So close that and uh, just hoping that maybe the gravity of the uphill gradients will slow us down or the speed limit will go up to 80. So it just did. So there you go. Problem solved. Beautiful. Wow. I feel like we're going so fast the scenery is having trouble keeping up with this loading. <laughs> but man. Alright, here we come, approaching the station. I personally like to approach it around 30, 35. If I can get a good judge of my distance to slow down and stop. We are going uphill too, so uh, we don't have to put as much brake in as we would need to if we're going downhill. Completely pulling out a regulator, adding in some braking. Approaching Dewsbury platform. And yeah, we're gonna stop a little early there, so let's come bring it back in. Release the large ejector. I don't wanna stop here. Come on, let's go. Yeah, we're gonna stop. <laughs> come on. Wow. That's what I get for being safe. Oh, there's a train coming. Coming by to laugh at me. I know I, they're, they're always mocking me when they come by with their no their no sounds and no smoke. It's okay. There's nobody here, anyways. I'm just gonna do what bus drivers do. There's nobody's there. We're just gonna keep moving. <laughs> come on now. There we go. Spinning up quite a bit there. 
Yeah, I'm definitely loving the challenge of this route so far. Alright, goodbye Dewsbury. Next stop, Leeds City Station. Final stop. Okay, okay, <laughs> I am speed, and we are doing 70 miles per hour in a 60, we're two miles out from Leeds, let's go ahead and start adding in some brakes, because there's a 25 miles per hour speed limit coming up, and the uh, last thing I want to do is derail right before our last stop, so speed's coming back nicely, let the speed keep coming back. All the way back to 25 miles per hour. We're now one mile out doing 50. Breaking in the uh, Jubilee and in the ADF can be pretty tricky. There's a 25 mile per hour speed limit there. I'm so used to all the other modern locomotive brakes. The vacuum brake system is a bit different than I'm used to. Alright, we're looking good though. Look at that. There's 25 right there. I'm releasing the brakes. We end up stopping completely. Doing 1.2% down though. Gravity should help us keep our speed up. It was 20 miles per hour. We got that. I got you 20. Wow, can you believe we've made it this far? This has been really cool. I I honestly, uh, I mean, the the newest Spirit of Steam route has a lot of new technologies and, and things they've done that no other route has ever done. Um, and for how old and outdated this route is, it's, uh, it's impressive. It really is impressive. I got a yellow signal and a 10 miles per hour coming up now. So, slowing up, I think we have a switching track a few times. There's a station right up ahead of us. Honk a few times, let them know we're coming. Platform 5, bravo. Look at the reflections, beautiful reflections. We're still going a bit fast. The train actually there already waiting. A few trains. Look at how man, how did they do that? There has been so much traffic. It has been so busy up and down this route. Oh we might I don't wanna stop yet. Alright, I guess we're gonna have to. Let's let it do it. Let's let it do its thing. Don't fight it. Don't even fight it. Alright, brakes are releasing, don't worry. We're just giving these guys some time. See now he's rolling out. He's waiting for us to clear. I guess. Yeah. But yeah, like, it's been so busy up and down this route the whole way. I mean, it is, you know, obviously there's been those few moments in the middle where it wasn't as busy. 
but they've done a really good job of just making just filling out this route with as much trains as possible and it kind of feels like a rush hour route it legit feels like a rush hour route except for the amount of passengers it feels like a rush hour route so good job man i i, I can't recommend this scenario enough i really can't and hopefully they'll make more uh, like this for other uh for other routes as well very nice All right, so this is our platform. We're just going to go all the way to the end, and then we'll come to a complete stop. But we do have a few passengers here waiting. Very cool. Alright, there's a yellow. That's not our stop marker, though. Let it coast in. And here comes the red. Platform 5. Alright, let's... I'm gonna stop early, possibly, because I really don't want to have to do this again. <laughs> I really don't want to have to redo this. I mean, going really slow, so you shouldn't have that issue. Alright, 50 yards out. Is that good enough? Yes, it is. There we are. We made it. It took, wow, that took me an hour and 22 minutes. I think that realistically it would have taken me maybe an hour 10. Maybe hour 15 because we stopped a little early a couple times. We had a few hiccups. I had the brakes, at, you know, activating for some reason, slowing us down at certain points. So I think we could have. I think we could have. Honestly, we probably could have completed in, a, in an hour straight if if I really tried. But 43 miles. Wow, 43 miles driven on this route, uh, Manchester to Leeds. Really enjoyed it. Highly recommend this scenario. Big shout out to the person who made it. Um, another thank you to Dovetail for having me on and hosting me today. Really appreciate that. I'll see you guys very, very soon on the channel. Uh, and remember, you have three choices. Give up, give in, and give it all you got. Peace, love, and God bless you. I'll see you guys next time, next video. I'm out.